Well, if you're traveling to Disney World via airplane, there's a good chance that you're gonna have to fly through the Orlando airport. And at times that airport can be a little bit tricky to navigate if it's your first time traveling through the Orlando airport. And I'm actually about to embark on a little trip myself. So I thought I would bring you along in my travels today and show you how to get around the Orlando airport. So let's go ahead. I gotta get to the airport. So the next time I see you, we will see you at the Orlando airport. Alrighty, we've made it to the airport. Here is where you can get dropped off for departures. Or if you are doing some off-site parking, you can get dropped off here. And there's also a parking garage over there that you can park at. However, it's a little bit more expensive. I recommend doing off-site parking. But we're gonna go ahead and get on in here and I'll show you where you can check in. Here are some of the check-in booths that you can check your luggage or check in for your flight, but I definitely recommend budgeting some time for this because lines can get a little bit long here at Orlando. Another thing you'll wanna figure out is which gate your flight will be taking off from. So there are two terminals. There's terminal A and B here at the Orlando airport, and each terminal has their own security. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're going in the correct security so that way you don't get to your gate and have to come out and go through security again because it can be quite long. So my gate is at gate 34 so we're going to go over here to the right if you wanted to get a bite to eat before you get onto your flight there's a pretty extensive food court here they have a chick-fil-a sabaro over here they have a mo southwest grill mcdonald's panda express so that's something that you can get before getting onto your flight of course it's sad to leave disney world that's one of the saddest days of your trip but for the 50th anniversary they do have little touches of disney spread throughout the Orlando airport here. So you can come and get a picture in one of the 50th teacups here. They have a little seat that you can get a picture with. So it's a fun little way to make your trip home a little bit more special. Here's a look at Terminal A. This is not where I'll be taking off from, but this is where you can go to go through security if your gate's at Terminal A. And then if you are just landing here in Orlando, you will actually go down to the ground level to get your transportation to Disney World. One other fun thing that you can find at the Orlando airport is they actually have Universal and Disney stores before you get through security. So this is a great way to get some last minute gifts and souvenirs before you head into security. So here we are at gates one to 59 for check-in. And what I do is I always look at the board here to make sure that I am getting to my correct gate. So I am flying to Pittsburgh today on the Spirit flight. And it says that we are in gate 34. So this is the correct security to go through. So security can be a pretty stressful process when it comes to traveling at the airport. But what I like to do is I like to take out any of the items that I know I'll have to take out when going through security. And I'll just hold it while I'm walking through the security line. So that way I'm ready to get right through security and I'll have to take up a lot of time. So in this case, I took my laptop out and I have my ID ready to show whenever I go through security. Luckily right now, the line for security doesn't look too long, but it can get pretty busy here in Orlando. So definitely budget time for security. So once you get out of security, the next thing that you'll have to do to get to your gate is to ride on one of these trams to take you to all of the gates. But just like it's important to choose the correct terminal, you want to choose the correct tram to go on. So we are gate 34, so we're going to go to the 30 to 59 tram. If you forget where your gate's at, they do also have a monitor here that tells you the gates for these trams. Next stop gate 30 through 59. Next stop is 30 through 59. Next stop gate 30 through 59. Central Florida has so much to offer. There's a good chance you didn't see it at all. So please come back and visit us again very soon. This is Orlando Mayor, Buddy Dyer, and hope you enjoy your Orlando Another thing I will show when you get to Orlando, they have a lot of the 50th wraps here on the ABM tram. So this is another thing you can look forward to seeing whenever you actually get to Orlando and get off your flight. 
So there are different wings that contain different gates, but we want gate number 34. So we're gonna go down here to 30 to 39. And there you have it. We made it to our gate safely. Our flight is on time. We still have a little while until we take off, but we made it. Little fun fact, the gate beside mine is going to Cartagena, Colombia. And Cartagena was actually a key place that inspired the Encanto movie. So kind of cool to see that they're flying there. It's about time to get on the flight. going to want to fly without our headphones definitely but noise canceling headphones are really great to have especially on spirit flights because you can cancel out the noise and just enjoy your flight okay. We successfully navigated the Orlando airport and have made it in Pittsburgh. I have made it home and that was another successful trip through the Orlando airport and ultimately I just wanted to share this video with you to give you a better idea of how to navigate the Orlando airport and make your trip a little bit more seamless when it comes to going to and from Orlando. The Orlando airport can be tricky to navigate at times but ultimately the two things that you're going to want to know is to budget time for security and also figure out which terminal you need to go to that your gate will be at because that determines which security you'll want to go to. So again I hope this video was helpful for you and allows you to have a better time at the Orlando airport. I will leave a link here to a playlist where I have other airline travel tip videos as well as another video here to help you navigate the Orlando airport and give you a little bit more information on that. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your trip to Orlando and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys!